Hello everyone, welcome back to this material characterization course. And in the last 9 classes, we have just looked at all the optical microscopy and its variants and various principles and demonstrations and laboratory exercises, sample preparations, everything we have seen. And uh, I would like to have one tutorial class for the whole uh, set of optical microscope. And today we will try to solve as many problems as possible and this exercise will enable you to solve not only the assignments which you are going to go through and also it will be useful in the end semester examinations. So, you spend a lot of time in solving these problems and uh, uh, you can always come back and ask some questions if you have in the relevant time. So, let us go and uh, look at this problems one by one. So, what I have written is if optical tube length is 150 mm and distance of distinct vision is 100 mm, focal length of objective lens is 150 mm and focal length of eyepiece is 10 mm, find the total magnification. So, you know that uh, it is very straightforward problem you have the uh, ready made formula for this. What is that formula? Total magnification m is equal to magnification of objective times magnification of eyepiece if you recall and it is related like this. You can refer back your uh, lecture notes and slides and then this is what it is. So, you can simply substitute this. So, you probably what you write is given T is equal to 150 mm that is optical tube length T and D is 100 mm that is distance of distinct vision and then you have F naught focal length of objective is 150 mm and focal length of IP is equal to 10 mm. So, you simply substitute this and then you get the total magnification like Q 
you get around 10 x. So, this is one simple problem to find the application of this relation. So, we will move on to the next problem. So, the question is the refractive index for sodium line is 589.3 nanometers, hydrogen F line is 486.1 and hydrogen C line is 656.3 nanometer. Calculate the relative reciprocal dispersion. Similarly, we have the expression for the relative reciprocal dispersion. What is that expression? Let us write uh, it's mu is equal to So, this is a formula. So, simply we can substitute this what is given So, we can simply substitute this nu equal to So, it is minus 3.456. We will look at uh, another problem involving reciprocal uh, dispersion or uh, we will use refractive index 
involving refractive index. Let us look at one more problem. So, the problem is the refractive index of the objective lens is 50.5 and the refractive index of condensed lens is 24.9 and semi apex angle is 10 degree, wavelength of the light is 250 nanometers. If all these parameters give optimum performance in the bright field imaging. That means all these parameters belonging to a microscope will they give optimum performance in the bright field imaging. Also calculate the resolving power of the microscope. So, what do we do now? We will see, we will take one by one condenser lens. given <coughs> mu equal to 24.9 and you have alpha is 10 degree semi aperture angle. This is for condenser lens. Let us calculate the numerical value for this. which is mu sin alpha. You can calculate substitute directly this
So, we will see for objective lens. given mu equal to 50.5 alpha equal to 10 degree and the mu of of objective lens we directly substitute here 50.5 sin 10 degree you will have 8.769. So, you have this for condenser, you have this for objective numerical aperture. So, what is the now look at what is the condition for optimum performance of the microscope in light light microscope in general. If you recall, we had uh, written optimum performance the condition is So, this is a condition that means objective numerical aperture should be equal to condenser numerical aperture. So, in this case is it equal? They are not equal. So, these parameters will not contribute to the optimum performance of the microscope. It will not give the optimum performance because these two are different. Nevertheless, we will calculate the resolving power have a formula 0.5 times divided by So, this is the answer for this uh, question resolving power. So, this problem gave you some kind of a concept check for uh, getting an optimal performance you need to have a numerical aperture of objective and condenser should be equal. So, that concept is, is a kind of a concept check question. And the other thing is uh, simply a, a substitution of in the formula. We will now see the next problem that is fourth problem.
So, the problem here is the wavelength of polarized light is about 174 nanometers. Thickness of the medium is 0.2 mm. Refractive index of ordinary ray is 2.5 nanometers and refractive index of extraordinary ray is 3.7 nanometer. Calculate the relative retardation and phase shift for retardation. See the retardation and the phase shift we have looked at in the fundamentals of uh, light optics as well as when we looked at both the variants of light optical microscope namely phase contrast as well as polarized light uh, microscopy. So, where we see that uh, the, the material will split the light into two rays that is ordinary ray and extraordinary ray. So, based on that uh, if you recall the the phase retardation formula is this delta So, the relative retardation delta is nothing but the difference in the refractive index of extraordinary ray and ordinary ray times the thickness of the medium and phase shift delta is equal to 2 pi delta divided by lambda radians. So, we, we will simply substitute this straight forward. This is 0.2 mm. So, you keep everything in uh, same units. So, 10 to the power minus 9 into so you will work out to be. So, I, I request all of you to check this, the unit conversions and then you will see delta So, this is uh, again a simple substitution here. So, you get around 9 radians. 
So, now we will move on to next problem, problem number 5. Resolution limit limit of red What is the relationship between the resolution limit of red and blue light in the visible spectrum? It is a very general question. You can guess what we can do. So, let us take uh, approximately the wavelength lambda of red let us say 700 nanometers and lambda of blue, let us take 475 nanometers. We know that uh, resolution limit we know D equals lambda by 2 times n a and if you assume that uh, assume this uh, alpha and mu are same for this of the medium are same then you can say that uh, red equal to numerical apertures of blue. So, we know that uh, sin alpha. So, let us do that. Uh, so, you take resolution limit of red light divided by resolution limit of blue light which is nothing but Seven hundred divided by four seventy five one point four seven. We can write D red by D blue. So this is the relation. So, we will move on to the problem 6.
So, the question is for the same value of numerical aperture and magnification in an optical microscope, what is the relationship between the brightness in trans illuminator and epi illuminator mode? So, we have seen this uh, two types of illuminators in optical microscope. We can write for our clarification. So, epi illumination is generally reflected mode and uh, trans transmitted transmission microscope. So, we have this So, we have this relation. So, simply So, what is uh, written here is this is for the brightness in the transmission mode and this is for an epi illumination mode and then if you do this and then you have uh, these kind of relation. I think it should be, it should be 2, I think it should be 2 then it is right. So, just give that relation between these two illuminators.
So, calculate the depth of focus for the parameters lambda equal to 600 nanometers, refractive index 1.5, semi aperture angle 42 degree. Establish the effect of numerical aperture on the depth of focus and resolution. <coughs> so, we have uh, Resolution is lambda by two and a So, what do we see here is and resolution so it has got uh, you can see that it is going back to smaller and worse and this is smaller and better. So, this is a simple relationship which we, we have already seen. So, numerically also you can just see that uh, the, the depth of focus and its relation with numerical aperture and the resolution is uh, illustrated in this formula. So, what we will do is uh, in the next class, we will solve uh, some more problems in the light optical microscopic principles and then we will move on to the other microscopic techniques namely electron microscope. Thank you.